Greetings, Commander. My name is Natik Hayawan, a member of the Noble House of Battle Pangolins. As you know, I was sent by the Queen to guide you through the world of the Dragoness, Command of the Flame. Today, we'll be focusing on restoring the capital and building your army. In the aftermath of the Great Battle at Vovensal, the Dragoness gathered her remaining allies to the kingdom's newly established capital, Nuenborg. While this fledgling city has plenty of potential to become a thriving hub, there is much work to do before it can truly be considered the jewel of the peninsula, as Vovensal once was. Throughout its three major districts, you'll find many building sites. With the correct quantities of resources, you'll be able to construct and upgrade a wide variety of new buildings that will aid you in your quest. The Magic Amplifier is a mysterious structure brimming with powerful magics. It will be the first building you construct as it enables the commander to regain her physical form. It can be upgraded to strengthen the commander's base statistics, increase the size of your army, and expand the variety of revival spells available. The training grounds can be used to unlock and configure individual talents for the commander's revival spells. Similarly, the Oracle allows you to replace one of the spell's randomized end-of-turn bonuses. Both buildings can be used in tandem to customize revival spells to your liking, opening up entirely new strategies to experiment with. The resources that you'll be spending at the capital are brought back from quests. Sometimes you may find that you are low on a particular resource but have acquired an abundance of another. With the marketplace, you can exchange resources, for a small fee of course. The Ancient Forge is the site at which artifacts can be forged and reinforced, smelt down rare shards to gain a random artifact, combine two identical artifacts to obtain a higher level and even more powerful item. If you end up with duplicates, you can always exchange them for another random artifact of the same level at the Black Market. The Shrine of Souls is an unusual building that will grant the commander resources if they collect the souls of specific beast units. Try to defeat as many different types of enemies as possible during quests to reap the biggest rewards. Before you embark on a new quest, you'll need to build your army. An army is made up of six unit slots, and up to three of these can be filled with beasts recruited at the capital. One of the capital's districts is dedicated to beast recruitment, and here you'll find four camps, each with its own associated family of units. The humble forest camp is home to centaurs, tree ants, harpies, and griffins, creatures that inhabit the lush and verdant woodlands surrounding Niwenborg. The rugged Frost Hill camp is full of beasts and monsters acclimatized to the treacherous cold of the north, including winter elves, mountain things, werewolf grunts, and undead soldiers. The Ashen Camp can be called upon to recruit creatures that hail from the eastern desert sands and its oasis-like havens. These include the Giant Crab, Desert Eye, Desert Viper, and Majestic Phoenix. From the smog choked Zildaria camp, you'll find species that have managed to endure the demonic corruption spreading in the south, including the imp, succubus, dark skull, and vampiric bat. In addition to these regular camps, the commander can also construct the mercenary camp, which enables the recruitment of some of the kingdom's most powerful units. While these monsters hold no loyalty to the dragoness, their cooperation can be bought using the rare and valuable Mercenary Sigil resource. When out on a quest, you can fill your remaining three army slots by visiting field camps and completing side quests to gain access to even more unique units. And if you ever find yourself wanting for space in your army, you can merge two identical units to form a combined, more advanced unit. As the commander of the Queen's army, you'll need to be adaptable. Try experimenting with different unit combinations to create a wide range of fighting forces. After all, not every situation will require the same approach. And so concludes the final lesson, Commander. You've been a diligent student and it's been my pleasure to teach you. I now feel safe in the knowledge that the kingdom has its hero and that order will soon return once and for all. <laughs>